Hey, what's up guys? Gonna get into your read here. This is gonna be for the new moon in Capricorn. Just a quick read to see what messages are coming out for the collective here. Hope you guys are doing well and let's see what's going on. I'm trying a little bit of a new setup. I'm not really liking the, the lighting and everything, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe this could be quick videos and we go back to the other format. But um, but yeah, that's my, my sword back here. I had that for, what am I, 41 now? So it's about 23, 24 years I've had this sword. So it's been with me. It's been with me through this, this journey here. All right. We're starting off with the three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. I mean, we'll see what this is all about. It could be you too. I mean, this is a sense sometimes of heartbroken or uh, maybe, you know, missing someone, something like that. But I kind of pick up maybe even negative thinking. All right. So maybe there is a little bit of that thought. Uh, be cautious. Um, and maybe this is what this message is. New Moon in Capricorn for the 23rd in December here. Maybe you're going to find yourself overthinking. Maybe you're going to find yourself thinking negative. Maybe something's not happening. Uh, you know, just those type of thoughts. So be cautious of that because you could, again, we're in this portal. You could manifest. You could bring negativity towards you. So I feel like the message is to, oh, look at this. I saw the magician here underneath. So maybe that, and we were talking about manifesting. So be mindful of what you're thinking about. I feel like is the message here um, because you could end up manifesting that. All right. So let's see. We do have the High Priestess coming out here. This is Pisces energy. Now, the High Priestess is also an energy of um, maybe you're, you know, thinking very deeply here, going within, needing to take some time out for yourself to get some sort of clarity here. But also, it's an energy of maybe there's some dreams coming, vivid dreams, you know, take note of that. Um, there, there is something about you needing to take some time out and really... Put a plan in place. I, I, I'm really picking that up here. I, I mean, when I see the magician, I see the high priestess, you know, with the three of swords here, there's a sense of possibly just not not looking at something here. Okay, so you could be missing something. So whoever needs to uh, listen to this message here, it's about taking time out and really putting a game plan of what you want. All right. You might miss out on an opportunity if you're not doing that four of cups. Okay, she's focused on the wrong things. And you have the ace of cups here that's right behind her. It is an opportunity. So, you know, there's a, there's a chance here. If you're not doing the work, you could miss out on something here. Lovers, all right? So Gemini energy here. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a connection that you're thinking about, um, you know, but I do feel like there's something here in regards to, you know, maybe getting to that energy like this is not going to happen. This connection is not going to happen. You know, this person is not going to come back or I'm not going to find anybody new. You know, um, you know, I want to change this. I want to do that, but I'm not going to do it. But then again, you could miss out on an opportunity because you're just overthinking the situation. So I feel like for this reading for the new one in Capricorn, again, I'm going to keep it really short. But I do feel as though somebody needs to hear that um, about being mindful not to manifest or think negative because the negativity is going to is going to get you. And you could miss out on something here. Let's take a look at this three of swords here. Yeah, we have the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy again here. This And this could be self-deception. Okay, you just not manifesting or not thinking um, too clearly here. I don't mean to trigger anybody by that, but I mean, it's like, it's sometimes this is what terror is all about too. The energy comes out to the fact where we kind of forget what we need to focus on. And I feel like maybe this is pushing us into not losing track, not, not getting off course here, right? Maybe there's other things that are coming in where we we kind of feel as though that's important, but really, I feel like, and again, Ace of Cups here is about you, right? So I see the King of Cups coming out with the High Priestess. So it is about getting and using your intuition here. Um, the King of Cups is a very, um, you know, somebody that does follow what they feel inside here. But at the same time, you know, instead of jumping into making some sort of decision, this is someone taking time into making some sort of decision here too. But again, this is it's about, about focusing on yourself. Don't forget the Four of Cups with that Ace of Cups energy there that she sees. So there's something here about um, you and your creation here, all right? Let me get the Four of Cups here. And we have the Ten of Wands that clarifies the Four of Cups. So tens are endings. This is someone packed up, ready to move forward here. There's something here that is done for you. There's a cycle here that is not going to repeat. This is uh, something here, Knight of Wands energy is moving towards something new. It's time to move forward, you know? Um, but it's also remembering that Kind of what I said on the first collective reading, I think, is when I said 
you know, you have to take things slowly. There's a sense of every approach here, anything you're, you're thinking about moving forward that, you know, things will take time to come together. So when things don't come together in the timely fashion that you want, you know, understand that, you know, it does take some time here. It's, it's about going within. It's about things are going to change over time here. All right. Let me get a couple more cards. We have the emperor. It doesn't matter the gender. just a sense of you needing to step into your power here and starting to get into that masculine energy to make the changes now, right? The Empress energy, is feminine energy is going to be more attracting. The masculine energy here, it's time to make something happen. Taking action is going to be very important here. So it's up to you to make that decision, two of wands here, okay? So that's, and that's what's coming out, all right? We were talking about the Ace of Cups earlier. Ace of Cups is coming out here. This is about an energy of you, you know, really reflecting, taking some time out, meditating. What do you really want? It's going to be very important in your future here, okay? And then taking the steps towards that that path and understanding that it's going to take time. But with the Emperor being over here and the Ace of Cups here, you know, High Priestess, again, the, the message here is not to overthink and not to have any sort of negative thoughts is what's, what I'm coming, coming up with there. Okay, so that is what I got. So Hermit Energy, um, so that, again, quick read for the Capricorn New Moon. If this did resonate or helps you in any way, please do hit that like, and until next time, we'll see you.